If you haven't ever heard of Windows XP POS Ready 2009 edition before, you're not alone. Because even I didn't know what it was until seeing it featured on another YouTube channel. Basically, POS Ready 2009 is an ironically named Windows XP alternative cooked up by Microsoft itself in the ninth hour of Windows XP back in 2009. Since the diehard XP fans failed to embrace Windows Vista or 7, Microsoft decided that the only way to appease them would be to release a last hurrah version of XP just for them. The result was an operating system that is identical to mainstream XP in nearly every way, save for three notable exceptions. Number one, the installation wizard has been revamped, modernized, and improved. Number two, the activation process has been completely removed. And number three, it receives Microsoft's blessing for five extra years beyond that of mainstream XP. That is to say, the Windows updates will keep pouring on in for years to come. My goal with this video is to create a reference to help cover everything you need to know about POS Ready 2009. So far, i found that it works great as a portable and lightweight virtual machine, but I suspect that it'd be an excellent alternative for dusty old XP-era physical computers that you might have laying around as well. Easily the best feature of Windows XP POS Ready 2009 is obvious before you even install it, and that's how you acquire it. Microsoft actually has it available as a free download right on their website, so you don't have to worry about clicking on some shady link to some sketchy file sharing solution. It's all right here. Once you've downloaded the ISO, the only other thing you need to finish the installation is to grab one of the valid product keys from the video description and enter it during the setup process. You won't be able to proceed with the setup until you've done so, but the nice thing about POS Ready is that there is no internet or telephone activation of any kind required, so you can use the key on as many installations as you want without having to worry about getting it blacklisted like you would when installing mainstream XP, or any other version of Windows for that matter. While we're waiting for the installer to boot up, I'd like to take this time to cover a few procedural bits. At its heart, POS Ready 2009 is Windows XP Professional with Service Pack 3 pre-installed, and as such it looks and behaves basically the same as mainstream XP, with a few exceptions. While I have personally tested the installation of general software such as Acrobat Reader, mainstream web browsers, Flash Player, Java, and Microsoft Office, it's not beyond the realm of possibility that there may be some programs that don't work quite right. For example, while Flash Player works just fine, it can only be installed using the plugin installer feature in the web browser, instead of just downloading the installer executable from the Adobe Macromedia web page. What I'm trying to say is that before you trash an otherwise working setup of Windows XP in favor of POS Ready 2009, at least test any mission critical software that you plan to use. And don't forget to back up your data, as POS Ready's installer does not support upgrade or repair installations of any kind. And that should cover most of the prerequisite stuff here, so let's go ahead and step through the setup wizard at this time. The first thing you'll notice is that POS Ready does support unattended setups in cases where you're deploying a similar installation to a bunch of similarly equipped computers. In this case, I'm just installing it here and now, so I'm going to go with the interactive setup. Now this part is important, so don't skip this. This is an important screen you want to watch for if you're using one of those product keys other than the ones I provided. If you see something here that says demo or evaluation, that means you typed the wrong product key. If you see what you see here, 
what we're looking at right now, that means you typed in the correct product key. And if those terms look pretty agreeable to you, you can indicate that you accept them and click Next to continue. This next step here is rather convenient because it allows you to install the appropriate drivers if you are trying to set up Windows on a new old computer with a SATA hard drive. The backstory behind this is that the standard retail installer for Mainstream XP didn't come with any SATA drivers, so if you were trying to install to a SATA hard drive, you had to either slipstream them into your ISO and burn it again, or enable IDE emulation mode on the computer. This allows you to simply install the driver without having to monkey with either of those things. In my case, VMware is doing IDE emulation, so XP won't have any trouble figuring it out. If you're new to this kind of thing and that explanation sounded a bit confusing, check out the links in the video description to learn more about SATA drivers, slipstreaming, and the actual meaning of IDE emulation. And if all of that works out okay, you'll see your hard drive here on this step. You'll have the opportunity to partition the drive up, and pick where you want to install POS Ready. Another one of the nice features of this installer over the mainstream XP installer is that if you are doing the interactive setup, you choose all your options here and now. You won't be asked any more questions after you click install until you get to the desktop, unlike mainstream XP which interrupts the installation about, I don't know, half, two-thirds of the way through and says, oh, pick your region and language options. In here, you do it before you start installing, which is nice. As you can see, if English isn't your native language, the operating system supports a wide variety of different languages and geographical locations and time zones. This is where things really get fun because you can choose a boatload of different things according to how you want stuff installed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and expand all these lists and display them briefly so that if you want to see all the different options that you have when you install it, you can pause the video and examine these more closely on your own time. But personally, I'm going to go ahead and quickly choose the options as I would like to have them installed. yes, you are required to set up an administrator password. There's no way by this step, as far as I can tell. After this, the installer will go through and do its installation thing. From what I remember, it does restart the process several times, so don't be alarmed by that. Just wait it out until it actually gets you to the login screen, and I'll meet you all there at that time. After logging in for the first time, you'll see that there are a lot of Windows updates to install, assuming you're connected to the internet. This is because the build is relatively old, and while it does include Service Pack 3, it doesn't come with much else in the way of patches, so you've got half a decade worth of updates to install. Just be kind of patient with it until those finish. While you're waiting, you can also hunt down the drivers for your physical computer. Or if you're installing on a virtual machine, set up VMware tools, or its equivalent for the virtualization program that you're using. You can also take a moment to explore the themes that POS Ready 2009 comes pre-installed with and select one that you like, or install a different one. My personal favorites are Royale and Zoom, both of which give XP a spiffy and modern look. And with that, I've pretty much run out of stuff to ramble on about. 
My conclusion is that while POS Ready 2009 doesn't offer any compelling features that would warrant the immediate replacement of an existing thriving installation of mainstream XP, it is an excellent alternative for a lightweight Windows Virtual Machine or for setting up the next time you find yourself needing to clean install Windows XP. I'd invite you to check out the links in the video description for further reading and to perhaps download and install your own copy of Windows XP POS Ready 2009. Thanks for watching.